Hey, God bless you. Welcome to Matters of the Word. You know, Ephesians chapter 1, in the greeting, verse 3, Paul opens up this book to the Ephesian church by reminding them, and therefore reminding us, that we have access to every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Now think about that for a moment. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places that's, that's everything that's good. That's full access to love, full access to patience, full access to courage and boldness in Christ Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is supernatural, you guys. Forgiveness, long suffering, kindness, all of this we have access to. We have been enriched, blessed with every spiritual blessing. God's not holding back. He, he has plugged us in to the, the ultimate power, Christ Jesus. So if you come with me right over here, this is where we get all the power out here for the lights, the sound system, the coffee. And this sub panel is powered up right now, even as we speak. The way you know power works is it's, it's a really a great illustration for unlimited power, right? This goes back to a power plant and and there's essentially an unlimited supply on. There's on, there's off. I wanna point out here all of these these conduit that are running off of this box. I'm about to run right here another circuit. So I got a couple things of conduit. I got uh, another 20 amp uh, breaker switch and we're gonna run some power right over here we pull a lot of power for to it's these these two coffee pots over here so they need separate breakers and um so i'm about to run that uh, next time you're out here you um you can look over here and, and notice there'll be there'll be a two boxes instead of one this conduit or or what i'm about to add here is really nothing but just a hollow piece of plastic and what conduit is meant to do essentially is to get the power from the source over there to one of these right and then and then ultimately up here to our our coffee table where we we make our coffee in this way we are conduits of god's power we are merely a hollow tube with some copper in it and we are just connecting points for this this unlimited power supply through Christ Jesus. And so really the conduit, there's nothing special about conduit. It's what the power flows through. All of the things that God wants to pour out on mankind, he chooses most of the time to use people like us to get it there, okay? And so we're his conduits in that sense. However, it's not very mobile, right? As soon as you, you start to go on the move, you gotta unplug. Well, I'm also working on another project here today that involves conduit of, 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 of a type. We just got this, this water tank because we need to get some baptisms going here. And we're gonna be filling up since we don't have clean enough water here at the ranch to um, be baptizing people in. Um, we are going to go fill up this tank, bring it to the site here, and we'll be filling up a baptismal tank of sorts for us to, to, to have a baptismal service out here. Well, what we need to do is we need to get the water that will be in this tank out of this nozzle through this hose or, or conduit, another type of conduit. And we will be taking that and putting it into a baptismal tank, which will then be able to hold the water that we've transported out here. And once again, nothing special about this, just a a hollow piece of plastic. Right now it's flat and floppy, right? And there's nothing really special about this. But the key, the reason why this is gonna be useful is because it's connected to the source, as you can see right here. And when I turn that nozzle, that water is going to be flowing and filling up that tank nice and fast 
for us to get the baptism going. And so God has given us both an unlimited supply of, of his power and a mobile supply of his power. By the power of his Holy Spirit, he goes wherever we go. We go wherever he has us to go. We are mobile and unlimited in the sense that we are just conduits of his love, his grace, his compassion. So take those, take those two aspects of God's power and how he uses us as his conduits and, and lean into that. To where are you going today to, that, that God wants to pour out his love and his grace on others through your life? And how much are you going to need? How much patience are you going to need? Hey, guess what? You have an unlimited supply available to you supernaturally through the Holy Spirit, both an unlimited supply and the convenience of mobility. Wherever you go, he is with you. Emmanuel, God is with us. So be encouraged in this. Ephesians chapter one, verse three. God bless you. Life,